doing? <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So it is July favorites. And I have to say, July is one of my favorite months. So that is going to be included in my favorites. Is that it's July because it's my husband's birthday month. Plus my daughter is August 1st. You know, so it's just it's a good month. A lot of fun, a lot of fun things happening. I have a bunch of products to talk to you guys about that I've been loving this month. So let's just get right into this because we know Nick Nicolies, Nicolies. That's gonna, that's my new nickname, Nicoly. But you know, with Nikki's rambling, this is gonna end up being like an hour long video. So let's just get into it with spirit fingers. Poof, poof, poof. <laughs> So I have to say that besides the month that I've been loving, I have been loving these Irresistible Me hair extensions, you guys. I have been wearing these like crazy. My only con about them is that I constantly touch my hair when I'm wearing hair extensions. You know, like that annoying time when you're watching videos and the girls just won't stop touching their hair. That's Nikki. Right now. It feels good. So, let's start with edible things. The first thing that I have been eating the shit out of this month, and no, it's not Sour Patch Kids, you guys. I think that that's kind of like pineapple. If you eat too much of it, it, like, tears the inside of your mouth to shit. So, I've been giving those a rest, but I have been, like, stuck to these. And I call them resins, and my husband laughs at me, but I guess they're, like, risin or something like that. I don't know how you say that. You guys know I'm horrible with names. I have other things in my favorites sitting next to me that I can't say the company name for anything to save my life, but we all get what it is. It's chocolate with caramel, and I mean, how can you not like these? If you don't like chocolate and caramel, you're not human. You're not from here. The next thing that I've been loving, the next couple of things are just kind of like body products. The first thing is this Bath and Body Works. This is their aromatherapy. It's sandalwood rose and it's just a soothing oil. My husband puts this on me when he's rubbing me at night or I put it on myself. Um, I kind of conjunct it, conjunct it, oh my god. I kind of combine it with something else that I am about to show you next, but the combination of them is pure heaven, especially if I've had a hard day or I have a migraine or I'm not feeling Feeling that good. These are everything right now, everything, and I've been using it very sparingly, but this oil is unlike any oil I've ever used. This is, it leaves your skin so silky smooth that you're like, am I oily or am I silky? And it's not like a normal oil. You don't look shiny, you don't look greasy, you don't feel greasy. You feel like you have this high-end silk mask on your body and the smell of it is so relaxing. And it's just been such a godsend to me this month and we're using it sparingly because I don't think that they're selling it at Bath and Body Works anymore. I looked it up. It is $20 when they were selling it, but I looked it up on eBay to see if I could find it and they were selling it for 85 bucks. So I was like, yeah, see you later. Once you're gone, you're gone. The next thing that I've been loving this month, and this is actually quite a new favorite for me. I haven't had it that long, but the first time I used it, you know when sometimes the first time you use products, you're just like, hey, hey buddy, come stay in my house. We're best friends. Well, that's what this product was for me. And it is the Vite. I want to say that it's Vite, but it's the Take It Easy Stress Reduction, Relaxation, and Soothing Aromatherapy Dead Sea Bath Salts. I got this from Content Boulevard, and it actually took a while to get to me, and I was so excited about getting it. And I don't have a bath. As most of you know, we only have a stand-up shower at the moment. We are getting a tub soon. But for right now, we don't have a bath. So I put this in, like, um, my foot soak kind of thing that I have. I put it in that, and I soak my feet in it, and it is the best thing in the whole world. And when I combined... Where'd you go? When I combined these two together... It's seriously like whether you've had a horrible day, you have a migraine, you're not feeling good, you know, you just need to relax and bring yourself down. <sighs> These are amazing. Now this product here, it, I really, really like it. You don't need that much and you just soak in it for about 20 minutes. And I mean, it's like a puff of just stress reduction just around you. You instantly smell this and it's instantly soothing. And when you smell it in the jar, it can be a little off-putting. It needs to be diluted with water to really get that aromatherapy kind of smell to it. But it's so good, you guys. And it says that it's mineral-rich Dead Sea bath salt. So you guys know that I love it because it's Dead Sea. 
Dead Sea is just so good for you, you guys. And it says it's infused with essential oils. I'm going to try to talk clearly. And to help soothe your senses, relieve stress and tension, and induce a sense of balance and deep relaxation. Perfect to calm your mind and recover from mental fatigue and exhaustion. And it really does. Like all of you mothers out there, I will leave the link to this down below. I highly recommend this. And I don't push very many products at you, but I'm telling you, this product will save you. It will be what keeps you from killing your children. All right, I want to talk facial sprays. The first thing that I have been using the crap out of this month, the L'Oreal Infallible Setting Spray. I know it's expensive for the drugstore, but it's worth every penny. This product should be high-end because I have the Urban Decay Setting Spray, and I really, if you compare the Urban, the Urban Decay and this, I would pick this every single time. So the $16 really feels like a steal when you think about it with the production or what's it called? With how this product works, it's worth the 16 bucks. Like I probably would have paid 30 bucks for this. So this locks my makeup in and keeps me matte and I just freaking love it. Oily skin girls, do it. The next facial spray was a recommendation from a lot of you and I went and got it and I fell in love. Mario Badescu, the rose water spray. Little did I know that this is only $7 at Ulta. This is really, really cheap. I never looked into it because I was like, okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to love it. And it's going to be like 30 bucks. No, this is super cheap and it is so good. I've been trying to use it sparingly because I don't get to Ulta a lot. It might give me a reason to go to Ulta though and do some shopping. All right, now onto the fun stuff and the makeup that I have been loving. I do have a new kind of thing going on. I got from Thomason and I was actually kind of shocked because Thomason doesn't usually offer makeup products and I wish that they did and they are starting to implement a lot more beauty products like that except for skincare and hair care. That's usually all they ever offered. I finally got my hands on some makeup. I did have to pay for it. I got it at a discount. I got it for $2, which was so cool. And it is this set. Now it comes with, I believe, let me see how much, how many brushes is in this. And this is like a pleather case and it's kind of like a purple. And it's a really nice case too, if you can see. It's like the one that I liked. It doesn't have the plastic cover, but there are for 12. There's 12 brushes in here. Really nice brushes. I mean, these are great quality brushes. And so you get that and then you also get this palette. And this is another thing I was telling you guys that I couldn't, I don't think I can pronounce correctly, but the Lamino, Lamino, I don't know. You, I'll pop it up. You guys can tell me what it is. But it's the Light Up Life. And this is like a baked um, eyeshadow palette. And it does look cheap. You know, it's on the cheaper side. But the shadows in this are unreal. Like, they really exceeded my expectations because I thought that they would just be kind of cheapy and this would be more of, like, a kid's kind of duo, but it's really not. The products in here are amazing, especially used wet. And this set, with this palette, with the brush set, is 17 something It's, like, $17.95 or $17.99 super cheap, but they don't have very many of them left on the site, so I'll leave the link down below if you guys want to check it out, but this really reminds me of BH Cosmetics, and it's in the same kind of price range as well, and if you have Prime, you can get it in two days. You don't have to wait, and I've just been so in love with this palette, so impressed by its quality, but these shadows do have mica and talc in them. So if that is a problem for you or your skin or you're vegan or something like that, that might be an issue. But if you're not and you don't have the budget to go out and buy all the fancy high-end palettes, try this out. This is really good quality. It really, really is. The next thing I've been liking is some foundations. And what I've been like kind of going back to this month is this little duo. This is the Clinique Stay Matte and then the Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse. Now the Stay Matte is a like it's hair too light and this is a hair too dark. So I mix them together and it literally gives me the perfect complexion. I stay matte. My liquid foundation stays on. It's not liquid. It's mousse. Yeah. But my foundation stays on all day without breaking up. These as a pair, they really mix well together and I've just been loving it. So this, these are both foundations I won't go without, but I just, I, last month I didn't use them as much because of the next foundation I'm about to show you, but I have been reaching back towards this a lot towards the end of this month and I've been loving them. 
But the reason why those got neglected was because of the NYX HD foundation. This is actually really good. I told you guys at first, I was like, eh, you know, it looks kind of greasy on me. I don't know if I like it. But it was because it was too dark. And because it was too dark, it was making me look greasy when I wasn't. And I got it in my shade and I haven't been able to keep my hands off from it. I love this. I highly recommend checking it out. I have oily skin and it really works for me. So if you have oily skin, it might be good for you as well. But I've heard both dry combo and oily skin people say they love this. So the NYX HD line is really good. And to go along with that, I've also been loving the NYX HD um, concealer. I almost called it a primer, but it's a concealer. I absolutely love this. The hype on this sucker is real. And, you know, and I like it when things are hyped up that I can actually afford, you know, and this is really good. I can see that you go through a lot of these very quickly because it is a really great product. So you'll use it a lot. So it is something that you'll have to repurchase a lot, but it's worth it. I love this. It doesn't crease on me. It's easy to blend out. It stays on. It doesn't break up. It doesn't make me look old. And that we know I hate about concealers. So this is a huge thumbs up this month. Another favorite that is new this month is the Sonia Kashuk Brightening Powder. Get this, you guys. I'm not kidding. Run. Run to Target and get this. This is like a hidden treasure. And I don't remember who had this. And I asked them if it was good. If it was you, write in the comments and be like, me, bitch, you was talking to me. Because I don't remember who I got the idea off to get this from. But I went right to the store and got it because I've been hearing about the Laura Mercier brightening powder. I'm never getting that shit. That is way too expensive. But this is a brightening powder. So I wanted it. I grabbed it. This is just like the Too Faced powder, the Primed and Poreless I was just whining about in one of my other videos. Here it is. I mean, Sonia Kashuk is still pretty expensive for the drugstore, but it's not high end, you know, but it's high end quality. And this is great quality. I highly, highly recommend you guys getting this. The next favorites that I have been loving are the ColourPop eyeshadows and these two specifically. This one in Blaze which is a great kind of metallic brown color. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. It's really, really good. This comes in the Kathleen Lights Quad. So you can't, I don't think you can get it um, by itself, but the Kathleen Lights Quad is actually really freaking good and I highly recommend it. And Blaze out of this, I can't keep my hands off Blaze. And then another one I've been loving is Birthday Girl that came in the pink. I don't know if you can still get this or not, but if you can, get it. It is really sparkly for one. So if you don't like sparkles, don't go near it. But, oh, this stands out in the sun like no other. I have gotten so many compliments whenever I wear this. I just, I'm addicted. And I actually like to put Blaze down first, and then I put Birthday Girl over top of it. And it is just the most stunning eyeshadow ever. Okay, lastly, because I, I know this is going to be so long and you guys are probably so bored by now, I just want to tell you guys about a couple blushes I've been loving. The first one is the Milani Baked Blush. This is in Dolce Pink. This is the only one of this line that I have because, as you most of you know, it's really hard for me to get my hands on Milani. This is so good. Um, it is a very shimmery, sheeny kind of blush. And I have to keep it more towards the back of my cheeks because if I have a shimmery blush towards the front of my cheeks, all of my pores just are like, hello, you know, like sea urchins. But anyway, so I have to keep it more towards the back, but it's so beautiful. Oh, it's such a gorgeous shade. I highly recommend picking this up if you can get Milani near you. It's worth it, worth every penny. Do you see me all like, yes, yes, get it. And my last favorite is something that I have gone back to, and that is Max Melba. This was something that was really hyped up, and I didn't know that it was hyped up. I got this in a swap from Kim, and... I looked at it and I was like, wait, is this a bronzer or a blush? I didn't know. And then I was like, how is this orangey brownish kind of blush going to work for me? I've never gone that way when it comes to makeup and blush. Always pink, never towards this kind of color. This is my favorite blush of life. I mean, bottom line. In the summer, this just is amazing. I don't know how to explain it. You know, I'm wearing it today, but with my lights, you probably can't even see any kind of blush on my face. But this is amazing, you guys. And if you don't have Melba, if you've been wanting to get a MAC blush and you just don't know what to get, I find it very hard for anybody not to love Melba. I mean, I've never heard anyone say that they don't like it. 
you know, it's just really, really good. So that is everything that I have been loving for the month of July, and I'm trying so many new things out right now that I won't put in this favorites just because I've, it's a recent kind of thing. So look forward to August because I have a feeling that is going to be a bomb ass favorites. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave me a comment and let me know what one thing has been your ultimate favorites because I want to do some shopping and I need some ideas. So get commenting. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.